October the 4th. And I am back for my, I don't even know what number video, maybe like 41 or something. Um, it has been a while. It's been a couple weeks for no other reason than I've just been busy. Um, not really busy with anything important, just kind of busy. <laughs> busy with stuff. Um, let's see, no real life updates. Everybody's um, doing well. Everybody's healthy. Um, kids are all fine. Um, Brian and I are fine. He's been traveling a ton, so I've had all kinds of time to, to do Floss 2 videos, but I just, I've just been busy stitching and doing other crafty, fun stuff, um, that, yeah, you know, and it's fall, and so as you can see, the house is decorated for Halloween. I think I've mentioned this every year that, um, I probably have close to just as many Halloween decorations as I have Christmas decorations. And there's a stupid fly buzzing around. Um, every creature that lived outside before it got cold has decided to come inside and um, drive us nuts in the house. Um, but anyway, so the house is decked out. I will insert some pictures if I get a chance, um, depending on how long this goes either at the beginning or at the end or maybe even in the middle. Um, so I may insert a, a couple of pictures here of some, some of the decorations. Um, one of the things that I'm most excited about this, sh this year, and I can see it from here, that's why I'm looking over that way, is my Halloween village. So I actually have not put my Halloween village up for several years because I really just didn't have a, a good spot to put it. Christmas village has, um, for the last, I don't know, probably five or six years, been spread across the top of the piano and in, and then an antique cabinet and then a table. And I, I just wasn't pleased with how that looked. Well, I happened to find, my rug cooking store is also an antique store, and I happened to find there a, and I know these have a name, but basically it's, it's a type of a bookshelf that has one, two, three, four, five shelves on it. Long shelves, like kind of standard, you know, maybe like five feet tall, um, four feet wide kind of thing and but it has um, it's not solid in the back or the sides I'm gonna insert a picture so you'll see it here in a second and it has a crank on the side and you can actually pull the shelves out um, so that the the one on the bottom is out further than the one on the top kind of like a tree shape I, I'm sure there are technical names for all of these and I just don't know I, I don't know furniture names um, and then you can actually pull it all the way out and it doubles as a table, like kind of a long rectangular table. So um, I came across, I know they make these new nowadays and I know they're kind of pricey, but I actually came across an antique one and um, kind of snatched it up as soon as it became available. So um, I finally have a place to put my Halloween village and we'll have a place to put my Christmas village all in one spot. Uh, very excited about that. So I put the Halloween Village up and then realized that I don't actually have enough to fill um, to fill the shelves for Halloween. So the bottom two rows are my sort of fall slash Thanksgiving Village. Um, but I think it looks, I think it looks, you know, I, I'm happy about it. Pretty much the whole house is decked out. Um, this year did buy a few new things um michael's has some more primitive antique looking halloween decorations which are really what i like and what i go for and um so i snatched those up when they went on sale for 40 or 50 percent off and they're on the shelves up above here so anyway that's that's kind of what I've been up to, um, you know, and, and a few other ran work, of course, and a few other random responsibilities. So I'm going to try to keep this to two videos, and I'm going to get right to it. I'm saying that today is Thursday the 4th. I probably won't get a chance to post this until tomorrow morning. Um, my car is in the shop today, and um, we just got word that it's going to be a ridiculous amount to fix it. It's a 
I have a 2011 Honda Odyssey minivan and it's kind of one of those things that I, I, I've wanted to trade this van in for a really long time. It was a great car when the kids were growing up. We've had minivans since I was pregnant with Maddie. So we've, I've driven minivans for the last 18, almost 19 years. And I, I'm tired of driving a minivan, I, especially when it's just me in this big old minivan. They're great for, you know, big families and great for lugging people around and stuff around. But just, I was just tired of it. So um, it has a lot of mile, miles on it. It's, it has, has become the family car. And so we you know, take it on vacation. And of course it's very comfortable and all of that good stuff. Well, it's been kind of shaking lately and I knew something was wrong. We had four new tires put on it recently and it, that didn't really cure it. And so, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't like a big deal. You kind of would forget about it unless you happen to be driving it. And, um, so I took it in and of course it's the front axle and it's going to be $3,000 to fix it. And I said, yeah, no, we're not doing that. So we need to go pick my car up and Brian's gonna come home here in a little bit and we're gonna go pick it up. And then I think we're gonna take it this weekend and trade it in because um, it's just not worth, it's not worth with for the high miles that it has on it. It's not worth, um, not worth paying that and keeping it and I don't even really want it, so. Um, but anyway, so I'll probably have to do one video today and one video tomorrow. So I'm going to start and then I'll download them both at the same time. I'm gonna start with finishes. I have, I actually have a ton of finished things. I finished five different pieces for Colleen. You would think there is literally one fly flying around and you would think my house is full of flies because of course I'm here and it's just driving me crazy. I also have a pot of chili, black bean chili on the stove and it smells really good and I'm sure that's attracting them. Do flies smell? I guess they do, huh? Do they have a sense of smell? Hmm, Jen, do they? I don't know. I'm confused by that all of a sudden. Anyway, um, I have I have five finishes for Colleen. Um, she did she did five different pieces, beautiful, beautiful pieces, and got those finished for her. And I will insert. I didn't bring them all down. I will insert some pictures of those if I get a chance. Um, but I did not do the stitching, only the finishing on them. Um, so I did those and then when Nicole and Jen and Marlene and I got together in Little Rock um, one of the things that Nicole gave us was an empty Altoid container and a little chart some fabric and the floss to um, make a little covered Altoid Altoid needle minder or needle case and so that has been sitting on my kitchen table since I came back from Little Rock in September and I decided yesterday morning it was just driving me crazy and I decided I was going to do something with it. So here it is. I altered the pattern a little bit. Um, this is, was actually a bird sitting on an egg and it had a border around it and I took the border off. I took the, I decided instead of doing it this way, I would do it this way, leave the egg off and then just added some random little stitching in. This is a covered button from fabric that I bought from Teresa, um, Kitten Stitcher. I, I wanted to bring that down here and I forgot. Guys, if you have not ordered fabric, so, oh shoot, I had forgot something else too. Um, if you have not ordered fabric from Teresa, Kitten Stitcher, go over to her website right now. I think it's kitchenstitcher.com and check her fabric out. Her fabric is amazing. It is the most lush, beautiful fabric. It's almost too pretty to use. I mean, it's that gorgeous. I also ordered fabric from Misty Purcell, who now has a shop online and a great chart, a great October chart, which I ordered um, and didn't bring to show you. And that fabric came yesterday, and I think I ordered the last piece that she had available. Uh, Teresa has a ton of fabric and I think uh, Misty is just getting started with fabric but it came yesterday and it's luscious as well so check them out a anyway uh, when I got Teresa's fabric and I think I ordered two or three pieces 
she attached, she included a, um, I just lost my word, a, some red floss from Sullivan's and it, on it was a little, um, thread drop and this safety pin, which I think she, um, maybe painted to antique it a little bit. And I just thought it was so cute. So I added a button. The, one of the buttons is um, from a set of antique buttons that Marlene gave us and some rickrack around the outside. And then the inside is just this fabric. I just put um, some batting, some cotton batting in here so that I can either stick pins in there or lay needles in there or, or what have you. And so for right now, I just have a, some, some of my, you know, my bowing needles in there. But anyway, so that was one finish. And then I, um, I finished two of the Plum Street Sampler Stranded Jacks. And I know a lot of you um, follow on Instagram and Facebook um, Darlene Bumgardner. I hope I'm saying her last name right. And Darlene finished all four of these um, yesterday, I think it was, and posted them. And she is another beautiful stitcher. Oh my heavens. And she finished, she finished stitching all four of them, and I think she finished, finished one of them. But her work is just awesome. So I finished um, the Little Merwitch. I love this one. I this is I think my favorite one. I don't know. They're all so stinking cute. This one I did on the uh, kitten stitcher Ada that I bought from Teresa, and I'm gonna do the rest of them on the Ada because I love it so much. It it's so soft. I, it feels like linen. It's so soft and beautiful and beautifully antiqued. I just love it. I intend to order some more of that as well, and I've never ever stitched on Ada. I um, put a little buffalo check on the back. I, you guys, I didn't know. I feel really stupid about this. It's funny the things that you learn and the things you figure out. Buffalo check, is that what that's called? Now is it buffalo check if it's black or what? I thought this was plaid, I, I don't know. Um, and a ribbon that I had and another couple buttons from my button stash and some pom-poms on the outside. So that hangs on my Halloween tree. And then I did um, the whale and the pumpkin the same way. And yeah, and this was done on a piece of even weave that I copy tea dyed. And I liked it and I liked the way it looks, um, but I, I enjoyed that Ada better. So I'm planning to stitch all of them on the Ada. So those were two finishes and I was kind of thinking that today I would start another one and I cannot find the chart anywhere. I, I mean, I have just a ridiculous number of charts floating around this house and I have, I mean, I have them organized, but I have them organized in different places and I have a, anyway, so I need to find that. Um, this was just, this is something so bizarre and weird that I, I finished this probably 10 or 15 years ago um, we no, we've lived here for 13 years. So this I probably did 15 years ago. I did this when we still lived in Indiana through my local quilt shop. Um, at that time, I only quilted. I was a pretty prolific quilter. And this was, I don't remember what book it was from, but it was a book and we did it as a kind of a group project. And it was supposed to be, you know, 12 months of, of applique, wool applique, and then you put the the blocks together and made a quilt and I decided instead that I wanted to do each one as their own and at the time this was the frame I had available and so I just switched these out every month and put it in this frame I mean like worst finishing of all time and so one of these days I'd like to refinish this and um, actually put it in you know something that I can switch out the months on but anyway, I added the, the months, October, whatever, the words, because those that wasn't part of it. But I love this. I, you know, this is kind of a timeless classic piece. And yeah, so, okay, so I'm almost at 15 minutes and that wasn't even, <laughs> I can't even show you what I've been working on. So I'm going to go ahead and end here and I'll start a new video and we'll go from there. See you in a bit.